How would you like to have a world-class piano player in your home playing your favorite songs anytime you want, day or night? Today we're going to talk about player pianos. Player pianos are great fun and have come a long way since the early day of piano rolls or the ones that your parents had. Player pianos allow you to play your piano just like a regular piano anytime you want, but give you that added entertainment value if you want to kick back and listen to music while you're having a nice dinner or a glass of wine or maybe a nice conversation with your friends. Player pianos are great for parties and events. So let's start out with a short history. Self-playing instruments like music boxes were produced in the early 1800s, and the first self-playing musical instrument started somewhere around 1848. They were mainly organs because it was a little bit easier to get those going. The piano is a much more complex uh, instrument, so the first ones were introduced in 1876 at the Centennial Exposition in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. They used those old perforated piano rolls. It wasn't until 1982 when Yamaha introduced the first mass-produced commercially available digital player piano. Then in 1987, they introduced their famous disc clavier system, which they continue to produce today. Today's Player pianos are all digital and use MIDI files to trigger electromagnetic devices called solenoids, solenoids which are used, uh, which use electrical current to drive small mechanical pistons mounted to the key actions inside the piano. The systems are not only capable of playing thousands of songs, but you can capture and record your playing performances and store them to play them back later. There are two ways you can get a player piano. You can purchase a brand new piano with the player system installed at the factory, or you can take your existing piano or another piano and have a system installed at a later date. Today, we're gonna to take a look at the latest QRS system. It's called the Pianomation 3 system. QRS has been making player piano systems for a long, long time. The Pianomation uh, 3 system is their best ever and is truly amazing. There are three different versions, or bundles as they call them, of the Pianomation 3 system. First one is basically the playback bundle, the Pianomation playback bundle. It includes everything you need to have your piano play by itself. It's the playback engine, controller, processor. They include a speaker so you can play the background music, has a Wi-Fi interface, USB, headphones, in and out connections, so really everything you need. What's really cool is they have a voice prompt system that kind of leads you through how to set it up. The second one is the playback and record bundle. This includes everything in the playback bundle, but also gives you record, playback, perform, save, and practice features. Okay, so everything that's in the first bundle, you get with the second bundle and more. The third is what they call the playback record and practice bundle. So it includes everything that the first two had, but what they do is they give you a key stop rail for pack practicing in quiet, which means you can actually play your piano and it won't make any sound. So this is really good if you want a grand piano and a player system, but you still need that uh, quiet practice time. So let's take a look at some of the cool things you can do with the Pianomation 3 system. Okay, so we're gonna show you a few of the features and how to get around on the basics. So let's get going. So one of the cool things you can do with the Pianomation 3 is actually record yourself playing. So it's really easy. You basically just go here to the record area and push record. And when it comes up, you just push your red dot like, you know, you're ready to record and you just play. So here you go and we'll play. You might know this song. Mm -hmm. 
then just say save. Nice little bell tells you, and then you just play it. See how cool that is? And then you can save it and, uh, you know, you have it there forever. So it's pretty cool. Great record function. What's really cool, too, is that if you own a piano, you know sometimes people are like, I really love that you're playing music, but, you know, the baby's sleeping or, or watching a TV show. So if you have an acoustic piano, sometimes it's very, very difficult to get that great practice time. You know, it's loud, you know. Especially if you're rocking out. What's cool about the Pianomation 3 is they have a silent practice mode, which is super easy to do. Got this cool lever here, pull it out, next thing you know, practice all day long, no problem. Very quiet. You say, okay, I got it now. Put the lever in. Super cool, nice practice mode. Very valuable, very valuable. So another cool thing you can do with the Pianomation 3 is it actually got sounds in there and it is a controller. So if you want to plug in uh, to a another module or another keyboard or you want to connect to a computer, you can do it. So since it has sounds, I think it's almost 200 sounds in there. While, if you want to practice in quiet or you want to layer it with your acoustic piano, you can pick any of the different sounds. So you go into practice mode and you can select general MIDI sounds, general MIDI sounds, uh, this one, or piano only, or you can go into silent practice. Right now we've got it in performance mode, general MIDI, so I've got it set up to tremolo strings. Right? And down here we're going to show you a picture. There's a little lever right? This lever kicks in your piano and takes out your piano. So if you want to go into silent mode, you pull out the, 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 the bar here and then you just, right? Now, if you want to add piano, so now I have strings and piano together, which really is cool. So, So it's a really nice effect. Now, if I want to just go back just to the digital sound, I pull the, I'm back to digital. If I want to change it to, uh, let's just say cello, then. Right? So it's really cool. So it's not only acoustic piano, but it's also a player and a controller. So it's really, really cool. All right? So you can, Play it back, play it by itself. You can record yourself or you can add digital sounds and layer or control other devices. So pretty darn cool, all right?